What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to Man of Medan, Meden, John Madden, I don't know. I'll get the pronunciation later, but welcome to a horror game once again. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of these from now on, as I said in the previous horror game, but this one is going to be made, well, this one is made, I think by the same people that did Until Dawn. I never played Until Dawn, but I've seen it being played, so I know that choices matter in this kind of game, and sorry, there's no music, uh, apparently there just isn't any to play, I don't know why, but we're going to definitely dive into this one as well, I hope y'all enjoy this one too, leave a like, leave a comment, Show the bear that you love him. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. Let's just get right on into it. All righty then. Man of Midan. Rest easy, soldiers. It doesn't sound very loud, so I might have to do some post audio increasing it just doesn't sound all that loud to me but it will for y'all though because I'm gonna take care of y'all I'm gonna hook y'all up <clears throat> that vessel looks really old Are they in China? Or Korea? I think that's China. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Knocking back a Whoa. few cold ones. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Oh, boy. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Yeah, let me hold. Let me hold twenty-five right. cents. I'm gonna find out my future. Can you handle the reality, though? Me, Pop. Nine twelve p.m. Post World War Two. Will I be rich? No, oh, tell me about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, I want to know about them babies more than I want to know about money. Right? Things gonna work out for him. Dragon and uh, bamboo. Yeah, bamboo. Uh, I'm gonna go with dragon. You know, cause my daughter's name is Daenerys and she's a dragon. And yeah, 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 yeah. Press an old RT to pick up object. Okay, so we're gonna pick it up. And we're gonna it Hey, it's a fishy! It's a tuna! Like a fish? It's a tuna! I think it's a tuna. God, tuna sounds good right now. That's that's cryptic. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? I mean, in all honesty, death comes to everybody, but hey, bud, I don't know. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Them sure. eyes, girl. Let me know. My goodness. I'm gonna start a tab. All right, 50 cents. I'm good. I'll pay you back on the first. I'll give it a whirl. Oh, that's so cool. You do not want to get punched, but whoa. Okay. Aim and then punch. There we go. Okay. Oh. The ring timer shows how much time you have left. So I got to... I gotta get on my, uh, gotta, whoa, hold up now. I do not want to get hit by that thing. I don't care how slow it punches. 
I don't want to be hit by that thing. Honey, I can fight, alright? I'm just scared. That was a telegraphed uppercut, brother. Anybody would have saw that coming and it would it have been a right haymaker down on that jawline. I'm good, see? See, whoa! That's faster. Whoa! There we go. Ugh, come on with it. Oh, that's it? That's all you got? Yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Karate master. <laughs> Why am I wasting my time on this idiot? <laughs> come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. But what was his fortune, though? I want to know. Good old sergeant. What you got in the box, sergeant? Uh, weapons? Obviously it has a uh, skull and crossbones on it. Why does it look like that skull had a, had a hole in its head? Like a headshot bullet wound. Am I tripping, or is that like a little detail? Because you never know with games like this. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It looks like you can't sit here and tell me that that's not a coincidence. Because the other two boxes aren't, uh, messed up like that. We really finna do this cents. now? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Boss all! Nobody pushes me around! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Medic! Medic! My medical opinion! These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends! Get this one to the medical room! Oh, he's out! Throw the other in the brig! And keep him there! Yes, sir. Man. Those ships were absolutely gigantic. was right. Uh... Why? What? Why? What is... What? <laughs> a concussion. I wonder why. Why are y'all trying to put me out? Uh, what? June 22nd, 1.36 a.m. Is that the same day? I mean, I couldn't have been out that long, right? Oh, he looks just like me. Is this my boy? Two pops. Come back soon. Oh, that's my little man. My little Timmy. All right, let's get the hell out of here, man. What the, what the hell is going on? What the... Locked. Uh, okay. So it looks like I'm the only person in here. Uh, ooh, shiny. Is the key in here? Oh. What the hell? Took the words right out of my mouth, brother. I was semi-prepared, but at the same time I wasn't. So, uh, oh, well look at that. There's a key. So, how long was he... In the closet? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna look at his body. Uh, 
It, dang, he looks worse than I did after the sergeant smacked me. He doesn't have any noticeable bullet wounds and is not bleeding. It just looks like he got the snot beat out of him. But who did it and then who stuffed him in the freaking locker? I already don't like this. Let, let me get my happy ass on out of here. Because I don't like that one freaking bit. And it's all quiet and I heard like gunshots and airplanes and everything like that. So wait, bro, bro, ho homie, homie, walk straight. Walk straight. This zero visibility is already bad enough. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. The brig. What's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there okay, was, uh, so that wasn't in my head. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. So that wasn't in my head. I, like, initially thought it was in my head, but apparently it's not. <laughs> what the? Oh, God. Press A in time with the heartbeat. Oh, boy. Now, Sergeant. Now, Sergeant. You already gave me a shiner. I, I, I don't need another one. I don't need to be filled with lead either. I'm sorry for being a drunk, insubordinative dude. But I'll be a good boy. The hell? What ha what what happened? Who was he shooting at? Obviously, he Jesus what was that? Christ! Stop doing that! Stop freaking doing that! I see a shiny, but what's this way? Who shiny? Dang, that's locked too. What you looking at, brother? Is there like a key in the locker or something? Uh, b brother? B no? Uh, okay. I don't know what you're staring at, but... Okay. Hey, it's... Charlie. Hell. It's, uh, barred by something. You'll get some. Okay, I was kind of ready for that one. Only my, like, lower Who gut jumped. <laughs> Fucked up beyond all repair. <laughs> I think it's either repair or recognition. I'm pretty sure it's repair. Dang, he got shot up. So, that shows that there has been some gunfire and some people have taken said gunfire. But that still doesn't explain God, why. Man. Another stiff? Oh, <clears throat> damn it. Buckley. Wow. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Him being dead is not what gets me. The fact that he is as stiff as a tree and doesn't have a mark on him. What killed him? Oh, you see that fog? The fog is uh, uh, laying low over the floor. I didn't notice that, so there's nothing this way. There has to be something with that, uh, with those crates. It's got to be something with those crates. I mean, it was struck by lightning or hit with electricity because it surged all throughout the ship, and a mysterious liquid came out. But that still doesn't explain why there are bodies being dropped with bullet holes in them. Walk faster. 
Is there something this way? Locked again? Why are there so many locked doors? So, uh... Whoa. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Oh, I, I am. Like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on <clears throat> feelings, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Good song. Ah, hey, God. Chuck. <laughs> you see that kid over there? Why is there a kid uh, on the ship? No. Why is there a kid on the ship? Why is there a kid on the ship? Why? Why is there a kid on the ship? That is never, and I mean ever, 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 a good thing. Jordan, never. Get over here. More bodies. I feel bad enough for being the only person with a gun, but what the heck? One person had their throat cut, another person had a bullet wound in their head, which I made a reference to that earlier with that crate. I don't know if there is a, I don't know if there is some significance, but I was ready that time, you little stinker. But anyway, it's like, like they're it's like they're killing each other because obviously the gun that created the bullet wound Come here. is in his hand and the knife that created the slash wound is in the uh and look oh, at that God, no. Charlie. he had his throat slit H how did that happen did he do it himself <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's not normal. He looks like Atreus from God of War. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh. I wasn't fast enough, apparently. He got me right in the heart. Like, right, right in the moneymaker. He stabbed me right, well, in the Aora, but... Jeez, man. I, I thought, I thought about it too late. But, could I have prevented that? I mean, would I have Mayday, seriously Mayday. prevented that? Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! What the hell was that? Sergeant! What is... Ow. Again, not a scratch on him. I don't think that I would have survived that. I think I would have dropped dead no matter what. Because it's like I was saying, there's a lot of... Whoa. Oh? Won't you spare me over till another Coming from eight years of choir, that was the beaut that was beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna jam out for a minute, but 
It's like I said, there were many people that didn't have marks on them. So, like, that guy did nothing to that, whatever that was. He held a cross up to him, like a little cross, and I think he just died. If I would have shot him, I'm pretty sure I'd have just died. I'm pretty sure I'd have just died. Because there would have been no point in me being the only survivor on that ship. There would have been no point. That wasn't going to be a dead man tell no tale stuff. No, I was going to die no matter what. I just kind of hesitated. I don't know. I don't know if it'll come back to bite me or what. But I guess we'll find out. I have got to look this song up. A Conversation with Death. Oh, I don't have to. The title's right there. That's bright. That's actually a song I could learn, too. I might actually try, try to learn that song. Hello. Hello there. And welcome to my repository. Hey. Let me set this down. I'm digging that vest, man. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate. Greed and beauty. Life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it, and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, I just love how he says or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. Yep. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Nope. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. Much obliged. There are pictures in this world that can show you some <clears throat> possible futures. Mm. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions like the little idols or, should I or say, totems in until dawn in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made oh boy why would you put that juju on me everybody who watches my channel knows Either the enemy dies or I die, but somebody's dying. Why would you put that juju on me? Alright, so I'm gonna have to be cautious and careful, but I'm also gonna have to be precise and quick. I hope this will work out. I hope. Brad, Alex's brother, witty and innocent. 8.30 a.m., Duke of Milan, French Polynesia? Is that what that said? I didn't catch it. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, motivated but insecure. Huh. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before down the water diving 
Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's embarrassing, say nothing. I had to work. But I had to work, bruh. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah I, I, careful. I was having to make that, that money. Is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Boy, I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? Brother thing, you know. <laughs> Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Boy. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Ooh. Don't even play with me Sorry, like I'm that. I'm snappy. I'm just... When you medical school, would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And Anybody. Man, the long distance thing, Julia? Anybody. It's been rough. Even I know it's been two weeks. Nah, it's got to be tough. I'm going to be yeah, empathetic, even though he's a little asshole. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hell yeah. Stash some of them puppies away, even Whoa. though I don't drink beer. Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? Yeah, it really is. What's the right thing to do? Go with your gut or give it some thought. Nah, go, go with your gut. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Yeah, consider every outcome as best as possible hey. because one outcome can make a difference. Uh, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, excited, reckless, uh, foolhardy and relaxed, Julia's brother. I know who that is. I just don't remember their name because they do a lot of live action <laughs> stuff with these games. Connie, and I think like Alex. all of these hey, guys up, are actual people. <laughs> playing the role Lady Killer, and I know <laughs> who that is I just can't think of their name just like the Bradley guy bro. who played John Abruzzi hey. in uh, like Prison Break was the therapist yeah, in Until uh, Dawn likewise. not gonna spoil anything hey. further than that if y'all haven't played it yeah cool I get seasick I don't drink beer, so neither does my boy. Uh, I get seasick real TBH, bad. I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Bradleberry. Oh Tell my me God! Get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh, no, you are peer pressuring me. Peer pressure's bad. Screw this guy. Nah, man, you you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> Suit yourself. You ever do any diving before? All the time. Never. No, nope, never. I'm not going to lie. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're going to pop your cherry together. Going to be gentle. Uh, Why does everybody have to go there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, you just got a PC? <laughs> oh, yeah, PC Master Race Virgin. Yeah, we're going to pop Where's that cherry. Bucket skipper anyhow. Impatient, courageous, Fliss, captain of the Duke of Milan. That's a bad girl. I could tell just by the look on her face. That's a bad I bitch. I you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Uh-oh. So is everybody on board and ready to go? He's catching eyes. You see him? He's like, whoa, hold up now. Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. Told you. That's a bad girl right there. <laughs> he had that old oh, captain, my captain look in his eyes.
Are you really smiley? Oh, technology. He's a nerd. Duh. 5.30 p.m. Man, they were out for a while. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the diver. <clears throat> Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Frustrated, optimistic. Optimistic. Let's keep an Brad open mind. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, I trust my brother. Plan. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia. <clears> with the camera. <throat> what you got? <clears throat> Excuse me. Feast your eyes on this. Whoa! Hey, look at that. Is what that a that? freaking Look, bomber? bomber. Can you yeah, see that? that's a bomber. Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good. That's right? an old Are World War II good? bomber. Our miniature horse is good. Oh, yeah. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You go ahead and get no, you some. No, the B-29 is a super fortress. <clears throat> During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and were just like, so dope. Yeah, oh, very so dope. So dope. Oh, my God. Oh, Sorry, yeah, is uh, that why he's insecure? Oh, please keep going. Because his little brother is the brainiac? Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should <clears throat> call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this mm, the right way? Technically. Annoyed, who cares? Uh, I guess I'll be a little disappointed. I Wait, mean, I want to go down there and look at the B-29. dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am going to do some reading up on B-29s. Go ahead. Go ahead, little brother. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe on, you baby. should check on your bro. <clears throat> All right, I'll, che I'll check on the brother. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Oh, you two are so cute. Hey, what's this? All right, let's see here. It looks like her fell sight Dubois. The Dubois, the instruct identified on the rear authority conduct class in the designate specialty as sanctioned by dive master Federshin. Wait, why is why doesn't look kosher? Diver Nubmer. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Is that fake? Wait, wait, is that fake? That sucker is fake. I already Yo, don't like this. Hey, picture. Huh. What am I looking at here? High and dry. High and dry is what it was called. So, I guess that means he got left? Huh. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. Yeah, you did good. Uh, I'm impressed. Uh, you I did good. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Yo, know, I'm gonna get you something good. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has a rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. 
Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. You damn right, brother. Go through it all together. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got. Okay? Dope. So when do you say dope? Dope. Since I realized it was like tight. Fresh. <laughs> well, see you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. Of course. All right. What's uh, what's back here? Anything? Anything? Ooh, a locker. I am I gonna find a dead body in here again? <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Ooh. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Fancy. Shroud of Innocence. A must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. <laughs> okay. I remember reading about that stuff in like freaking school. I remember reading all about that stuff. That stuff was crazy. If you don't know anything about the Salem Witch Trials and are that much of a nerd, I recommend looking at that stuff. It's crazy. It's locked. What? Is, what is that? Why is it locked? Eh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna head back up. If I could just get him to control... Alright, so there's a fake ID there. I'm not even gonna approach her with that. Hey, what's up, baby? Got the gear good to go. Do you need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I oh. think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Right. I say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Eh. Uh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm snitching. <laughs> so, about that. I'm snitching. I just to let you know, I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. The seal's, like, pretty much coming off. And she's, like, and right there. a couple suspiciously misspelled words. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. Unless well, we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. Well, there my is... lawyers would love to hear all about there it. There is a locked door. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Alright, so what else are we doing? Do I talk to, talk, talk to, uh, There's a Conrad? Gap in the tail. Take a look. There's a little gap in the tail. Let's see here. Alright, where's the tail? Hey guys, tanks are ready. That's a booty hole. Okay, so, this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally, totally reused. reused. Yep. And it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Which is very important. Okay. O2 check done. I just wonder how much those things weigh. They've got to be like 20 pounds easy. Oh, oh, eager beaver. you got to check your O2 first. You can call me beaver. Beaver man. Playful. Looking good, Jay. Thanks for setting me straight. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to be playful. Playful. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Yeah. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm going to go see what <laughs> Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Yeah, at least we're dating. You're just trying to get you some. Uh, what is, what is which? Okay, that's a camera. I want to take the camera. Picture it didn't happen you're on camera. from a little I'll brother. The wheels. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> kids. Good to go. Talk. You know, I'm gonna take this. What is Just this? Remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Isn't ha, that ha. thing that like you ever have to use one? It like uh, nope. I forgot what it does, but it creates like a little like a a little short detonative charge or something. I forget what those things do, but it's whatever though. And we're off to the races. But because they mentioned sharks, I get the feeling I might end up seeing one, and then I'll be glad that I got the bang stick. 
I hate being right sometimes. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. It'll be Damn. our little secret. That chief. That's gotta be it. <clears throat> Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah. Damn. Those things were freaking huge. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. They were freaking gigantic. Howdy, Captain. Oh, no. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. It's requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Nah, she needs to focus. Pass. Up yours. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Stop trying to mac. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's none of your business, boy. Don't be asking ladies about their you know, money. It's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Damn Fair right enough. it's impolite. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh, got enough on my plate. You know what? Nah, I, I got enough on my plate. You know, I'll tell you where you can go. The boat store. There you go. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Go sit the fuck down somewhere, Conrad. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Drink by yourself, punk. Oh, I'm playing her now. Now I want to go over to this ID. See, like, how she acts. So, it's the same thing. Nothing really different. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I have to either talk to Conrad, talk to the brother, and then, like, check the check the ship. Hey, hey, uh, hey. what's up, Brad? You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. You know what? I think I think we're gonna. What do you know? You know what? Let's let's get a little nosy. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors, and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? How'd you figure it out? Yeah, what got you into World War II? What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. Oh, Wanted to understand okay. what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Oh, okay. You can use those old stories? You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. Wow, you know, When they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew hey. I where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Yeah, because there are a lot of enthusiasts out there. But I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I could definitely see the both of them, like, having a thing. I could see the both of them having a thing. I ship it. Oh, what is this? It's another picture! It's another picture! Why do I keep these around? Whoa! Whoa! Cut and run. I'm glad I came in here. I'd have had... I wouldn't have noticed that she could have opened it. Wow. This is why this episode and any further episodes are going to be longer than normal. Because... Oh, I can open this. Why would I need to look at the perfume? Uh, okay. Don't know what that was about, but... Okay. I guess let's see what else is up here. Ooh, what's this? Binoculars! Alrighty. 
I spy with my little eye. Uh, don't mention the divers. I'll do the talking. Yeah, you keep your mouth shut. Stay I'll quiet. do the talking. I'll do the talking. Uh, what do you think they want? And maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. Just be on guard. Or hopeful. I guess let's try to stay hopeful. Oh, yeah. They'd have lobster pots under that buoy. I mean, if it's theirs. I mean, maybe it's our beer delivery. I don't like the look of this. What's that about? Why is the scene being played over again? Uh, okay. That's not the Coast that Guard. Not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. What? Why did it play over again? What the hell? Uh, we've got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. What? What did they run into? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. Shut up. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Shut up. Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Shut up. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. On second thought, I think I'd be okay if Conrad was dead. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not going to lie, okay? He's an asshole. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. But Conrad's gonna get us killed. He's gonna so get us killed. Oh man, and there are still bodies in there. Whoa. Once again, there's a skull with a bullet with, with a hole in its forehead. Said one of the pictures showed that it cannot be Conrad, a coincidence. Really? really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. That cannot be a coincidence. The turret. We can get in through there. Careful. Oh, geez. I gotta be ready for that oh, stuff, man. Careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Okay. Can I just We're take down a here to in say, the depths. Holy shit, Alex! We did it. Yeah, we did. Ooh, I what's mean, that? Can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> it's another picture. Oh no! What happened to Bay? What happened to my girl? What was going on with her? What was going on with her? Ooh, what's that? Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. What is Not that? That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it's kind of dangerous. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. I think that, uh... I think that freaking picture, it might have maybe have been a, like a decompression issue. Maybe it was because of a... Like, she didn't decompress fully. Wow. So this thing definitely got shot down. Secret Bullet found. Holes. All down the fuselage. Anti-aircraft shell. So it got Brush shot down. When he sees this. Hell yeah, we'll just bring him a bullet. It's like, you want to see a good old-fashioned World War II anti-aircraft bullet? Well, here you go, little brother.
Good God. Oh, man. So, so we just fin we just finna touch the man. Ugh. With a bullet hole in his forehead. Oh, is that uh of his wife? Of his wife and kid, maybe? Wow. What the hell happened here? They, they all been, freaking They knew they were goners. Ah, uh, interesting. Uh, where do we go best? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. What is that? Oh, God. <laughs> interesting. I didn't hear anything. Oh, man, he's got a gun on him. What? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my heart. <laughs> my aching heart. Okay. I think I wet my wetsuit. Oh, I my God. Ew. Oh, God. Oh, uh, my God. Pilot. Gotta be. Oh. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh, oh, my aching heart. I'm done right now, y'all. After that one, oh my gosh. Whoo. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. That scared the piss out of me. If it scared the piss out of you too, definitely let me know down in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed it, let me know if you want some more because I'm pretty sure there will be more of that. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Whew, peace out.